Chelsea and my name is Becky and we are the Star Girls and today we have a super cool we have two super cool room decor DIYs for you and a giveaway so make sure you stay tuned to the end for details on that I think that the blanket would make like an amazing amazing gift an amazing gift what do you think Becky I do think because <laughs> because you can personalize it so well if you have a friend and you're like yes I know their favorite quote or this speaks about them so much like, or if somebody's having a bad day I feel like it's a very like here, I have a have a cuddle on me. Take yeah. this blanket and feel better about it. Yo, that's what they should have said. Oh. Cuddles on me. Cuddles on. I hate when I come up with good ideas after. <laughs> it like makes me depressed. All right, one of you. Well, you guys need to use that. use that. Yes. Cuddles on me. Cuddles on me. And give it to your friends and they're sad. Or when your friends are happy, and just give give it. Or give it to yourself. Give it to yourself. Cuddles on you. Cuddles are on me. For the ladder, we are going to start with two six feet pieces of wood that are 3.5 inches wide and half an inch thick and four 16 inch pieces of wood that are 2.5 inches wide and half an inch thick. We got these cut at the hardware store before we checked out. Next, we lightly sanded the edges and the surface. When they're all sanded, make sure to wipe off any dust with a damp cloth before we start staining and let that dry completely. For the stain, we are using an ebony color. It looks very dark when you put it on but ends up making the wood look like a smoky gray burnt color when you wipe it off. Repeat on all sides, painting on the stain and wiping it as you go. When you're all done, make sure that you let them dry overnight or the amount of time written on the can. This is optional, but we decided to add a varnish to finish off the look of our ladder. You will have to lightly sand the surface of your stained pieces of wood and then wipe them down with a wet cloth again. Making sure that your pieces of wood are completely dry before you start adding the varnish. We're going to lightly wipe on the varnish with a cloth or sponge. After all the pieces are varnished and dry, we are going to start building the ladder. From the bottom, we marked 14.5 inches down and one inch in from the edge. Since we are making our ladder slats on an angle, we are making two holes on an angle. The second marking will be one inch from the other side and 1.5 inches taller than the other hole, or a full 16 inches from the top of the plank. After you've marked off the first two holes, it's pretty easy because then you can just mark 14.5 inches directly above the previous holes marked, making sure that they are one inch in from each side. After completing this step four times on one plank, repeat on our other six foot piece of wood, but making sure that the two markings are opposite since they have to mirror each other when you hammer them into place. Next, we put the long piece of wood on a box while we added one of the pieces we were nailing in for support. We then hammered the nails into the plank, just make sure that the guidelines we drew on are facing upwards. We only hammered until we could see the tips of the nails poking through to the other side, and then we moved our middle planks into position where we hammered them in all the way with the nails. This is just so that you can make sure the nails are poking through in the right areas. And repeat this step for each middle plank. Once that's complete, we'll need to nail in the other side. Using the middle plank as a stand, hammer your nails where the markings are until they show a couple of millimeters down onto the other side. Then line up those nails with the middle plank and continue hammering all the way in. Repeat this all the way down your ladder. And again, please do not use this as a real ladder. It's for decoration only. Don't hurt yourself, guys. To make our DIY blanket throw, you're going to need to start with a plain blanket. A chunkier knit will work a lot easier for this. Using some chalk, we're going to sketch out the layout of our quote. And to stitch on the quote, we're going to use some thick black wool and a sewing needle with a large eye. Roughly estimate how much wool you think you're gonna need to complete your first word. And then we're going to thread the needle through the blanket at the top of your word. Loop it back through and tie a knot at the back to secure it into place. For the rest of the letter, we're going to use a split stitch. Bring your needle to the top of the blanket by coming through the middle of the first stitch we made. Thread it back through to the back of the blanket a few centimeters down, following the curve of your letter. Again, we're going to bring the needle back to the front by coming through the middle of the previous stitch. This will create a seamless line of stitches. Continue stitching down and running it back through the middle of your last stitch. At the end of the word, Tie off your wool in a knot and cut the excess and continue on finishing your quote. To finish up this blanket, we're going to add on some tassels. For this, you'll need a small rectangle of cardboard. So start by wrapping your wool of choice around the cardboard about five times or however thick you want it to be. Using a separate piece of wool, loop it under your wrapped wool and tie it in a tight knot at the top. 
Using some scissors, cut through the bottom of your wool to release it from your cardboard. And again, using another string of wool, tie your tassels together a few centimeters down from the top to create a small bump and cut off any uneven tassels. To attach your tassels to your blanket, just use a regular needle and thread and sew each tassel along the edge of your blanket. Loop your needle and thread through the tassels and blankets a couple times until it feels secure and go ahead and knot it off. So we hope you guys liked this week's DIY. Now you guys want to hear about the giveaway. Okay, we will tell you about the giveaway. So basically the reason that we are doing a giveaway, if you haven't realized, we just recently hit 300,000 subscribers, which is an insane milestone for us and we are beyond happy and proud and so thankful for you guys. Little proud family channel tears. So kind of as a thank you, we wanted to give back to you guys and unfortunately we can't give back to every single one of you so we just kind of want to make it fair and just kind of do a giveaway. All you guys can enter. As you do. As you'll do. First up on the docket list, our shirts. You're going to get one of each. Obviously you guys know that we designed these shirts ourselves and we're selling them online. And if you haven't already yet had the chance to buy one, links below, you can win one. <laughs> yeah, you can win one as well. So we have Do It For The DIY and Born To Create. So that's the first one and you can just let us know what size you are and we'll send you the size that you want. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Next, we're supporting our girl, Mr. Kate. We absolutely love her. If you don't know who she is, she's another fellow DIY mm -hmm. YouTuber. YouTuber. But also like jewelry, style, fashion. She does everything. She's yeah, great. she does do everything. And? She's an author. She wrote, wrote a book. Yeah, so she does do everything. Yeah. So this is her book. It's called The Hot Glue Gun Mess, and it's basically just like life, life, life stories <laughs> and experiences and also DIYs in this book. Yeah. So it's very like us, but we didn't write a book. So. But Mr. Kate. But Mr. Kate. So we know that you guys will enjoy this if you like our stuff. Tell her that we said hi. If Please you tell her watch that her. We, we love her. And the next thing that we are going to give to you guys is this really awesome rose gold and pink 2015-16 uh, planner. Yes. Um, very back to school. I'm very busy and it's in the best color. Our second last thing is another Kate inspired. This is a Kate giveaway apparently. Kate giveaway. <laughs> uh, a Kate Spade wristlet. Uh, very cute, you know. Kate Spade is always like on trend. Oh yeah, she's got an amazing brand. I love the color, I love the gold. Look at a little cart card pocket. It's perfect. Great for back to school. Great, great, great. <laughs> and our very last thing that we're so excited about. This is probably one of the best parts of this entire giveaway is, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but we sometimes wear these watches. But basically these are Daniel Wellington watches. You can go on the website and check out. They have really amazing so like watches. They have men's and women's and lots of cool like styles. Yeah. And they're really kind of like minimalist, but also really on trend right now. So our friends at Daniel Wellington um, gifted us these and also want to gift you one. So that's why you guys get to win one in the giveaway. And you get to pick whatever one yeah. on their website that you like. There's so many choices. And honestly, like browse the men's section is what I did. Bye -bye. And there's a bunch of new styles, which Kelsey is rocking, is like the new kind of different colored tones one yeah. that are on the numerals. Really so check them all out and you get to pick whatever one you want and they will send it to you. So unfortunately, if you guys didn't win this giveaway or you just want to browse or not want to wait, um, feel free to go to their website and use the promo code thesorigirls and you'll get 15% off, which guys, it's crazy. I just bought one for my boyfriend and do you guys do this when you're online shopping at a store? You look up coupon codes. Oh, I always do that. I always do that before you check out. Just always like Google blah 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 coupon codes and sometimes there's like ones that'll come up or people will give you like coupon codes. Yeah. I did that for Daniel Wellington when I was like mm -hmm. buying my boyfriend and I didn't find one. So, so we're here to provide <laughs> that for you. Yeah. They are like higher end watches so honestly use the code it'll help you a lot. So we decided this time this is going to be an Instagram giveaway. Obviously we're here to thank our YouTube subscribers and we really do thank you. But it's hard for everyone to be on every social media ever, so we just needed to pick one to make it fair. Yeah. So next time it's going to be a different one, obviously, but this time it's going to be Instagram. And to enter, all you need to do is take the photo that Becky and I post on our Instagram and repost it, mm -hmm. tag us in it, and use the hashtag TSG giveaway. Make sure you're tagging us and using the hashtag so that we can track your entries and know that you actually want to win this giveaway. Yes, and you know, we just assume that you guys are already subscribed to the Story Girls because you're watching this video and you're subscribers and this giveaway is for subscribers, so you know, if you're not a subscriber, 
you can just subscribe before you enter the giveaway because that's what's fair. Yes, that is what's fair. <laughs> so this giveaway is going to run for a week long, so it's Tuesday now, so it's going to end next Monday at midnight, let's say Eastern Standard Time because that's where we are. So after a week, we'll go through all the entries and just randomly pick someone. Don't worry, it's international and you can be any age. Just make sure if you're young that you have permission, of course. Yes, and we will message you guys on Instagram if you've won, so make sure that you are posting from like an account that you actually use and, and that you'll check. check so often we'll like DM you. And if you, we don't hear back from you in two days, unfortunately we will have to pick someone else as the winner just because we do want to make sure this goes to someone, of course. Yes. And just a reminder that our Instagrams are at Kelsey Morales and at Becky Lynn. And OBS links in the description so you get it. So this giveaway is only a small token of how we really feel about you guys. We appreciate you so much and we are so happy. More than you guys will ever know. So thank you so much for watching this video. Obviously enter the giveaway. And if you guys like this video, make sure you like it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we will see you guys next Tuesday with another DIY. Bye guys! Bye!